But WNBA this year has been uh, a great attraction, I think, with the uh, two young rookies, of course, Caitlin Clark and uh, Angel Reese and uh, the rest of the cast, and also the MVP, of course, in Asia Wilson. What are your thoughts on the WNBA this year as the, we've just had the championship happen right now with the Minnesota Lynx losing 62 to 67 to the New York Liberty as they win the WNBA uh, finals? Well, shout out to the Liberty and getting their first one, man. Love women's basketball. Been a big supporter of it. Here's a fun fact, Chico. Yes, probably sir. wouldn't even I probably wouldn't even know Coach Prime if it's not for women's basketball. Uh, I was doing a lot of supportive things for women's basketball at Jackson State. Coach Prime gets to Jackson State and he's asking other coaches uh, who are some of the alums that y'all count on to help for recruiting and you know boosting the program. And uh, Coach Tamika Reed, who was the women's basketball coach at the time told Coach Prime about Neely and the works he does to support JSU Athletics. And that was, you know, the segue for me meeting him. Uh, and then when Shadur came on his visit, Jackson State, I, you know, hosted Shadur that weekend for his visit. So uh, love women's basketball, big supporter of it. I think what uh, Clark has done to the game and Reese has done to the game, you know, is only going to elevate it more and more. The more eyeballs you have on it, particularly on TV, the more the contracts are going to go up because – it always follows the advertising. Hundred percent. If the if the eyeballs are there, the advertising is going to come. And at, at at what point do you think we'll see, or do we will we ever see these uh, women making upwards about you know uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand a year? You know something like that. It, it, it's going to happen for it's going to happen for some select players sooner than we think. Uh, but league wise, it, league wide, it's going to be a while again. It's just because eyeballs. Uh, when you have men's basketball on WNBA, WNBA versus NBA. It is such a fixed product uh, with the television deals and with, with the collective bargaining and all the things that go through the players' unions, they're just going to get a bigger piece. The, the NBA is going to have bigger salaries for a long, 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 long time uh, than the WNBA, but you're going to see annually these WNBA salaries start to increase because of the eyeball factors. Yes. And that'll be a good thing uh, if you're Angel Reese, as she said, speaking on her Instagram live on Wednesday, she said that her monthly rent is $8,000, totaling $96,000 for the year, while her WNBA salary was $73,000 and some change. She said Hayden pays them bills. Luckily for her, I don't think she will be having to go overseas to play like some of the other WNBA players have to do because she has so many endorsements. You know, oh, I think she'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, she's getting it, but I'm going to tell you this now. You know, I'm very familiar familiar with Chicago, and uh, whereas you just can't live any and anywhere in Chicago, when you living in right. a place that's eight thousand a month, you chose that. You know, there's there's some very <laughs> nice five thousand and four thousand a month places. You know, in Chicago, <laughs> overlooking overlooking Lake Michigan at that. So you don't don't come crying to me because you picked a place that's yeah. eight thousand a month. There there are nice places cheaper than eight grand a month in Chicago. Having said that, her salary will always be augmented and supported. She's one of those ones, just like Jordan just like LeBron and others, their endorsement salary is going to be way more than their, their, right. their uh, contract salaries with their team. Right. It's like uh, Chad Ochocinco. I think they're saying that he didn't spend like 83% of his salary from football because he spent his endorsement money and things that he made otherwise uh, from playing on the field. So uh, somebody said in chat, she makes $3 million from endorsements. So, you know, I think that's what I'd she I'd imagine, more, I'd imagine more than that. Could be yeah, more than you, that. Yeah, but you can't compare, you know, a choice you made to to your salary. Like, you know, that I I'm not I'm not finna sit here and wring my hands and say, "Whoa, was me for Angel Reese?" Because she picked an eight grand a month apartment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let let us know what y'all think out there. Eight grand is that too much? You know, I know there. No, it ain't too much if you got it, but I ain't finna feel sorry for you. Is what I'm saying. Right. I'm not gonna be like, oh damn. She she, let me put it yeah. this way. I bet if you go to the eight grand a month apartment. And open up on them nice cabinets. Ain't no King Vitamin in there. <laughs>